Hi, we are Sarah Lecomte Bergeron and Iputu Arya Devasurya Negara from Université de Montréal in Canada. Unfortunately, the co author Dominique Thibault will not join us today. We are pleased to present our article titled Automatic Transcription of Gambang Balinese Gamelan. This article describes the automatic transcription process of a gambang ensemble, a type of Balinese gamelan, from multi track audio recordings. This this project employs artificial intelligence techniques that have proven efficient in the literature, namely multi-layer perceptron classifiers trained on chroma analysis and here adapted to repertoire that offers specific challenges due to its musical realities. After describing the musical formation and its context, we will describe the method used for data acquisitions the analysis process of the dataset and transcriptions, concluding with an evaluation of the process efficiency and discussion on further developments of the algorithm. This system is intended for musicologists who wish to get insight on groups or individual musicians' gamelan practice specificities. It is also help musicians transcribe their performances for analysis or compositional purposes. By automating the process, we wish to expand the Gambang transcription database. With a more substantial database, algorithmically generated mus musical creation are a possibility using, for instance, machine learning. Gambang is a seven-tone gam gamelan constitute a metallophone called Gangsa and key bamboo instrument called chunkli. The ring of seven notes in the middle of the bamboo instrument is under one octave. They are for different bamboo instruments. The musician only focuses on playing the seven notes in the middle of the instrument. The fourth mallet provides an automatic harmonization at the lower or higher octave. Notation symbol on the figure refer to the seven tones. Cipher or Arabic numeral is useful for our automatic transcription algorithm. Aksaro Bali, the Balinese character, is the method used for traditional gambang notation. These symbols are associated to their appropriate tone name. Ensemble characteristic may vary depending on the village, the group, or the musicians. Some of these characteristics, among others, could be the improvisational techniques or the tuning system used. Variation in pitch and interval arise since there is no concept similar to the A equal 440 hertz standard that we find in Western music. The smallest unit of time is called the ketukan. Every unit is always played by at least one instrument. For traditional pupuh gambang repertoire, only the main melodic outline is notated, visible as the background of this slide. Although this notation is a useful reminder for the musicians, it doesn't convey everything that is audible. Complex variation arise from oral tradition. In Pupu Gambang, manuscript, melody, and music, Jonathan Adams described the idiomatic improvisation of pupuh gambang practice as generative processes where input consists of the pupuh, visible on, on the notation, free established performance convention, and certain environmental cues, and where the output of the parents sound that instrumental is played. While this repertoire is shared across the island of Bali, the diversity of played variation is vast. Adams already purposes a type of cipher notation which consists of numbers from 1 to 7, representing notes values. He manually transcribed gambang performances from audiovisual recordings using this notation. While Adams has performed significant transcription efforts, it proved to be a tedious process. We wish to expand the work he started by realizing many more transcriptions of longer excerpts. To do so, 
We propose to elaborate a more efficient transcription process of Gambang Balinese Gamelan. Other music transcription systems have proven useful for Western music. We hope an automation of Gambang transcription we will hold similar outcomes. To be able to perform the automatic transcription, our tool requires audio recordings from a performing ensemble. Then, the sound files obtained will be analyzed to produce a transcription. Our focus will be on formal section where interlocking patterns are performed. The section consists in, the, in a major component of traditional pieces. They are particularly challenging for manual transcription due to the difficulty of source separation in such a dense and homogeneous texture. Chunkly instruments tend to blend because of their similar timbre, register, and dynamics. Multitrack recordings comes as a solution for isolating these instruments. The resulting recordings are used as a corpus to develop and test our transcription algorithm. In a standard digital audio workstation, we verify that all sound files are synchronized. The four chunk click tracks are superimposed to create a master mix. This mix and the five individual instrument tracks are exported separately to the WAV format. Each file is carefully named. For the analysis process, the graphical programming environment MaxMSP is used, along with the Fluid Corpus Manipulation Library, which provides signal decomposition and machine learning toolsets. The following steps describe the analysis process carried out by our tool. We first start by importing the sound files into buffers. The fluid buff onset slice object detects attacks and outputs their location. The fluid waveform object enables visualization of the waveform and the associated detected onsets. Onsets can be adjusted, added, or removed with the mouse. Correlation between individual instrument onsets and mix onsets is performed in order to quantize instrument strokes on a Katukan grid. For each individual instrument onset, we query the mix onset dictionary for possible corresponding onsets. If a match is found, the strokes are considered simultaneous and the location in the buffer is added to the instrument dictionary with the corresponding mix onset as the key. Matched onsets are organized in a centralized dictionary. After the audio has been segmented, we are interested in analyzing its slice of chroma. Chroma is an audio analysis that models the composition of pitch classes in a sound. For each individual onset, a user specifies a 200 millisecond long slice of the resynthesized harmonic contact is analyzed using the fluid buff chroma object into 30 slices to provide enough chroma definition while not creating unnecessary analysis value that might hinder the efficiency of the model. The chroma analysis will be used as a feature for prediction in our multi-layer perceptron classifier. If the model was not pre-trained, we first need to fit the model. The user has the tools to train the model themselves. They choose a katukan. The sound stored at that position in the buffer is played for the user to listen to and associate the appropriate node value to it. We select a few instances of each tone and associate it to a number. We obtain from this association a pair comprised of a node value as a label with an array of 30 chroma analysis values as a feature. When enough associations have been realized, the model is ready to be fitted. The model is trained by sending a fit message to the fluid MLP classifier object, a multi-layer perceptron. When the model is trained, we test it by activating the prediction phase. We select one stroke to be simultaneously played and analyzed through the chroma analysis system. The analysis and prediction process run in parallel for all five instruments for a selected katukan. The model predicts a label for each analysis and outputs a predicted node value ranging from one to seven. If no onset was detected at the selection, no analysis is performed and we obtain an output value of zero. 
The result of the model's prediction is stored in a JIT cell block grid-like transcription holding information on node values per instrument, which is a column, at each kutukan, which is a row. The data can be adjusted manually before exporting to a CSV file. What we are presenting is a first version of the algorithm, so the results are necessarily preliminary. We use a 753 kutukan long excerpt of the piece Samarandana as a testing set. The output of our system gives us a transcription displayed in a grid-like manner in a CSV format, where each row is one kutukan and each colon is an instrument. To test the performance of our system, we manually compared the original recording to the transcription and validated whether the algorithm correctly identified each onset and tone class. Each element that we had to manually modify is taken into consideration to calculate the F1 score, a measure of a model's accuracy on a dataset. The transcription obtained a F1 score of 0.967, with a precision of 0.971 and a recall of 0.964, which we consider a promising result. We then performed a thorough transcription of the first 49 ketukan of the same section, supported by the use of video footage and traditional gambang notation. This method, which takes considerable time to execute, becomes our controlled variable to evaluate three methods. A manual transcription realized from audio only, the automatic transcription from our system without manual adjustments, and the adjusted automatic transcription. We compared the manual and adjusted methods to the control. Errors are highlighted in red, while outputs that were accurate for only one of the two methods are displayed in green. Darker red circles on the automatic transcription indicate manual changes that prove to enhance the output, while the softer red circles are errors which we missed during the adjustment process. We counted the number of errors in comparison with the control. We calculated the accuracy of a method's output based on the number of errors compared to the number of possible errors. We noted the time required to complete, complete each transcription method. We obtained comparable results in accuracy, while the time required to execute the transcription varies. We conclude that if we wish to transcribe excerpts longer than 49 katukan, an automatic method with manual adjustments would provide the best accuracy and significant time improvement compared to a manual transcription. The automatic transcription provides the best efficiency with a slight drop in accuracy compared to manual. A fully automatic transcription can nonetheless let some significant errors slip through. This table shows the ratio between systemic errors and errors linked to reasons which consistently hinder the accuracy. The system is prone to errors when regional or individual specificities arise. The Gangsa harmonization, specific to this group, brought persistent confusion between two of the seven tones, hence the low F score obtained. The playing technique of one musician renders some strokes difficult to judge if they are played twice in a row or not. The algorithm is currently limited to automatic transcription of audible sounds. This creates a somewhat accurate transcription of one instance of an interpretation of a piece. However, it should not be considered a valid gambang notation for instrumental practice, since the musical style relies on improvisation. The tool proposed is a step towards the automation of the transcription process of pupu gambang repertoire. The use of this tool unfortunately requires multi-channel recording equipment and technique knowledge, which is not readily available for most users in Bali. A next step will be to conduct multi-track recordings of more gambang groups in order to broaden the corpus. This would also provide the opportunity to test further the transcription algorithm. The transcribed repertoire would then be sufficient in size to eventually train deep learning models in the generation of gambang music. We appreciate your attention. Thank you for having us at this conference on AI music creativity. 
We would also like to thank our supporter, the Observatoire Interdisciplinaire de Création et de Recherche en Musique, and the musicians of Sangar Narada Gita, who participate, participated in the recording required to test our system. <laughs>